this uh, manifesting what you want, while you're fulfilling your dreams, these have taken on a big, a very uh, <clears throat> a dimension or a size that it should not. People setting their goals of life at the eighteen twenty that I want to become this or that. I'm not saying it's wrong, I'm not saying it's not necessary, it is to some extent. But I see particularly in the West, essentially in America, this is something I would like to change. Yes, by maintaining a certain mental focus, you can achieve a few things. But we have to redefine what is achievement. Just because you got what you wanted, that does not mean you have achieved something in your life. This is a very mediocre way of curing human nature. <clears throat> what few material things that you want, either in terms of profession, relationships, or as you said, you added community projects, <laughs> that is also one kind of career. So right now, this little auto rickshaw, which is supposed to take three people in it, carrying ten people, somehow he zigzags up this hill and makes it to the top, it's an achievement. He switched off his engine, probably sitting for a chai <laughs> So it's an achievement. I'm saying it is not an achievement. Yes, socially it is relevant. Personally, economic and other benefits may be there. Yes, few things have to be done like that, I'm not questioning that. But if you're looking at... if you're calling this a vision, Sorry, I wouldn't call this a vision. This is a petty desire, which could have been done in so many ways. These things have become big in people's minds because they have set their goals. Like I've always told you in the very uh, beginning of the... usually probably in the very introduction of the inner engineering program, we talk about this. In yoga, we say if you have one eye set on the goal, you have only one eye to find your way. A one-eyed man thinks he has done a great thing because he found his way home. Somebody who can see clearly, he doesn't think much of finding his home <laughs> because it's the simplest thing that you can do. So I'm saying without enhancing the human being, we set some petty goals, like this little engine, which doesn't have the power to go up this hill. Now it sets up this goal and it thinks it's done a great thing reaching there. But if it built itself into a more powerful engine, without effort it would be there. This is where human focus should be. Human focus should not be about what should I become, what should I have. Having and becoming should not be your goal. It should be about how can I enhance this life. When I say life, I'm not talking about your profession, your career, your relationships, your community projects, no. I'm talking about this life. How to make this from what it is to a much upgraded or high-powered life? Just do that. If you do that, then this will do whatever it has to do. This is what yoga is about. Don't worry about what you should have, what you should do. Just make this into a powerful engine, it will climb any hill. So this should be your vision. Not about, I want to get this kind of job, I want to earn th so many thousand dollars, I want to marry this pretty girl in the neighborhood <laughs> No, just grow this into a size and a potential beyond what it is right now, all these things will happen. All these things will happen more than you ever imagined. And above all, the quality of your life will not be determined by the arrangements of your life. The quality of your life will be determined by what's throbbing here and that's how life should be. Because it's life, not the arrangements of life. And life happens within. What you arrange is of social consequence, not of any existential or life consequence. 
So, do not call petty desires as vision. I want to buy a new model car and it happened. It'll anyway happen because they're giving you zero percent interest-free loan and they'll collect it back from you in ten years' time. Anybody can buy any damn car, it doesn't mean anything. But sitting in that car, what are you going to do? Only if your neighbors look at you and they envy you, you feel good. If all of them have bigger cars, you anyway feel like nonsense once again. <laughs> That's all it is. But if this human being is enhanced, whether you sit in the city or you sit among these rocks, you sit in the mountain alone by yourself, wherever you sit, it's fantastic. And that's what you should envision, not petty things.